In this video, we're going to look at how we can multiply monomials together. To set this up, I want to consider multiplying a cubed times a squared. What a cubed really means is we're multiplying three a's together, a, a, a. And then we multiply that by a squared, and what a squared really means is we're multiplying two a's together, a, a. So with all of this multiplication together in one step, how many a's are multiplied? One, two, three, four, five. We have five a's multiplied together, which we can write as a to the fifth. I want to see if we can notice a pattern to help us skip this middle step when multiplying a cubed times a squared. How could we have looked at the exponents of three and two and known we were going to end up with five total. Well, you might notice that three plus two equals five. When multiplying variables together, we add the exponents. So for example, if we were multiplying four x cubed y squared z times two x to the seventh y z to the fourth, we can take each factor individually, first multiplying four times two. So it's just regular multiplication, four times two is eight. For the x's, however, we've got three x's from the first monomial and seven x's from the second monomial. We add the exponents on the x's to find out how many total x's there are. 3 plus 7 is 10. We have 8x to the 10th. Same thing for the y's. We're going to add the exponent. The first monomial has y squared. The second monomial just has a y. If there's no number written, we'll assume that means an exponent of 1. There's one single y there multiplied together. 2 and 1 means we have a total of three y's multiplied together. Similarly, with the z's, we have one from the first monomial, four from the next, one plus four is five, five z's multiplied together. By adding the exponents on the variables, we found our product to be eight x to the tenth, y to the third, z to the fifth. Let's try one more example. Here we're multiplying negative seven a cubed b squared c to the fourth times two a b to the eighth c to the fourth. Starting with the numbers, it's just regular multiplication there. Negative seven times two is negative fourteen. And then for the a's, we'll add the exponents. Three plus one, if nothing's written, we assume it's a one, to get a to the fourth. On the b's, we add the exponents, two plus eight is ten, b to the tenth. And finally, on the c's, four plus four is eight. And we get our final product, negative fourteen, a to the fourth, b to the tenth, c to the eighth. When multiplying with variables, we simply add the exponents on each variable.